Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to um I'm still kind of sick but I wanted to stream so I'm going to stream a children's educational game because hopefully <laughs> hopefully my brain can handle that much. <laughs> but hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Apologies if I sound a bit rough. It's cuz I am. <laughs> But welcome, welcome to Zumbinis, also known as the uh, the logical journey of the Zumbinis. I think was like the first name it had. Um, it's been remastered and put on Steam, and so of course uh, my childhood nostalgia meant that uh, I had to play it. I had to get it and play it at some point. And honestly, I've owned this for a while. I've been meaning to play it for a while, but I haven't gotten around to it. So. <laughs> I was thinking it could be something I did as part of my birthday stream because I did want to just like keep streaming on my birthday. I wanted to go for like 12 hours at, at least, but I was um, definitely not well enough to do that. <laughs> I still made it to like almost eight hours, which is pretty impressive, I think. But uh, yeah, I was starting to feel pretty ill at the, the end of my birthday stream and like a little bit on my birthday too. And then on Monday, I was, I, I just felt so bad. I, <laughs> I was, I was in such a state and I was like, oh no, I may be sick. <laughs> and thankfully I am feeling a lot better today. Like I, I was feeling better yesterday and now I'm feeling a lot better today as well. The only thing like really today is uh, I've still got a bit of a cough. It's when I breathe in using my mouth, then I end up coughing a lot. So I, I have to like manually remember to breathe in through my nose, which is really hard when I'm speaking because I keep wanting to instinctively breathe in through my mouth. But every time I do, like my throat gets tickled and then I start coughing. But other than that, I'm I'm basically fully recovered now, which is why like... To begin with, I was really worried that like I'd, I'd picked up like a, a bug or a virus or something or like that I might have COVID, but uh, that is not the case, thankfully. Um, I was talking to my mum and she was like, have you ever considered that overwork and stress can make you sick? And I was like, that's true. That is true. <laughs> Maybe that could be it. <laughs> Any tea? Oh, I actually have. I do, I, I prepared for today. I got a flask, I got, I filled my flask. Uh, it's not actually tea, but I got a, I made myself like a warm blackcurrant drink with honey. So I have a warm blackcurrant with honey drink and that is like the, the most soothing drink for my throat. And it's, it's really, really nice. It's, it's like, pure comfort like if every time i have a sore throat i'm just like i'm gonna have a hot black currant and honey <laughs> it's really soothing but yeah I, w I was fully called out by my mom she was she was like um oh wait i forgot this is a game that uh mutes when i tab out it's so annoying uh, <laughs> i want the funky midi background music while i talk <laughs> but yeah i'm I'm doing so much better now than I was, and the fact that I have recovered so quickly does make me think, like, yeah, it's probably not a virus or a bug or anything, especially because everybody else in the house is fine, and they were they were all giving me hugs on my birthday, so it's very likely if I did pick something up, I would have passed it on to them, like, as, as awful as it sounds. But no, I think the main problem was probably... I've been I've been going at like 110% for the past six months probably without a break. <laughs> I I keep saying I'll take a break and then every time I take a break I still end up doing work on that day. But in my head I'm just like, well I'm I'm preparing stream stuff and I find that fun, so that's not work. It's it's still work. I'm still working. I'm still like actively doing stuff. It's not rest i'm really bad at taking a break <laughs> also thank you for the hydrate as well gambler wait let me actually say hi to everyone too i, I just kind of 
jump straight in talking about how I've not been well. <laughs> but Gambler, congratulations on the first. Thank you for the hydrate. I am drinking the um, the remains of my ultra peachy keen today. The one that I opened on my birthday stream. Um, I had the bad apple monster on Monday. And it was still really mid. Uh, it, I, I wasn't impressed by it. I had the Lewis Hamilton monster yesterday. And I think it actually grew on me a bit more than when I first tasted it. I think the thing with the Lewis Hamilton one is it tastes really weak. But once it's gone flat, like when it's not carbonated anymore, it kind of just tastes like flavored water. And I was fine with that. I was re that was like really easy to drink. <laughs> so I, I actually uh, bumped up the Lewis Hamilton one. Like I put it in a C to begin with, and then I moved it down to D as I was rating more on the stream. And I've decided that it deserves to be promoted back to C. So Lewis Hamilton monster gets a solid C. It's it's fine. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Hige fan! Thank you so much for the sub too! Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome! Oh, thank you! I appreciate that so much! Hi! Welcome, welcome! Oh, and Addy! Oh, the resub! The 44 month resub! Oh my goodness, thank you! Thank you and welcome! I'm so glad you were able to make it into the stream! Hold on, actually, before we start the game, let me. I'm, I'm just gonna pop over to like the the just chatting screen just for a second, because I want you to be able to see the creations you have helped create in person. Oh my goodness! And Gambler too. Oh my goodness. That's a hype train. <laughs> a hype train for me being sick. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for the prime. The 26 months. Oh my goodness. You just realized. <laughs> oh, well, it, you realized at the perfect time because it means you can jump on the hype train. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Also, Flint, hello. I, d did you also enjoy Zumbinis as a child? I, I loved this game. When I was younger, like, this was like one of the educational games we had on the computers at school. It's like we had this. We had a game called The Crystal Rainforest, which I really loved. And I genuinely don't remember any of the other games because they were not as good as these two. But I got so excited. I got so excited when it got remastered. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can I can enjoy my childhood again. <gasps> no, Rika, you subbed with Prime and it didn't include it. Wait, try try refresh the page. Try refresh the page. Sometimes it makes the sub alert appear in the chat. And then you can post it. I've I've had that problem before in the past. But oh I I loved I loved this game so much. Also, Brinley, hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. And also, Rico, I just realized I haven't actually said hi to you, but hi! <laughs> hello, thank you so much. Thank you for the birthday wishes and and for the prime as well. Okay, there yeah, it, it is. worked. There it is, yes! I've had that problem before too. It's it's like sometimes the sub alert doesn't come up and then it doesn't like count as a sub until you've posted it in chat. But yay, thank you, you're joining the hype train. Welcome, welcome. But yes, Higefan, hello, thank you so much for the, the sub. Addy, thank you for the sub. Gambler, thank you for the sub. Rika, thank you for the sub. And hello, Suzume and Gigi, welcome. I am indeed live on twitch.tv. Having a sippy of my peachy keen monster, which is flat. But it still tastes really nice even when it's flat. Honestly, probably having monster not carbonated at the moment is actually better for my throat, I think. It feels a bit easier to drink than carbonated. But yeah, also water, hello! Welcome. I clicked out of the game again, didn't I? There we go. Water, hello. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, Twitch is absolutely terrible when it comes to alerts of any kind. I, I, I left my um alert as a, it's my birthday. 
because I'm I'm just counting this as like a continuation of my birthday stream because I wanted to play this on my birthday stream and then I couldn't because I was ill. So I was like, you know what? Um, I'm I'm just gonna keep the the notification <laughs> saying it's my birthday because it's 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 my birthday week. I I think like until until Saturday it's still my birthday. I, in my humble opinion. Oh, your little confession is you pinned your message as soon as you got in stream, hoping someone else would sub so you could hop on. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. Thank you. <laughs> I love when people save subs like that. I've, I've got to say, it's something I've done too. It's something I do. Like when I get a renewal for a sub and that like there's nobody else around, I'll wait for someone else to sub and then I will send the message. <laughs> to make it like towards the hype train because then I'm like well that'll convince someone else right right I like to support my friends <laughs> oh and vanquished hello welcome hope I'm doing well I am doing much better than I was on Monday I can say that much at least uh, I'm a I'm a little bit ill still at the moment but I'm doing okay I'm doing much better than I was and like I don't I don't think I have like a bug or a virus or anything I think I simply overworked myself what I think it actually is is because of my birthday being the first day off that I had in like a ridiculously long time I don't think my body knew how to react I think like I had a day where I was doing nothing I was just resting and eating nice food and not being stressed out and my body went into shock and was just like, wait, what is happening? Hold on, let's let's repair everything. Let's repair the whole body while the rest is happening. <laughs> so it like kicked my immune system into overdrive. And suddenly I'm, I'm just like recovering from everything. <laughs> but I'm feeling so much better now. I'm feeling a ridiculous amount better now. I... I've just spent the past two days doing nothing but sleeping and drinking lots of water and sleeping some more <laughs> and playing cat fantasy on my phone. That's like, that's like all I've done. It was also nice because like, well, it's, it's not nice being sick, but because I like actively spent yesterday and Monday not doing anything, um, I managed to actually watch some streams from friends for a bit, which I haven't been able to do in a while because of how busy I've been. I've been missing all my friends' streams and I missed it. I like watching streams. So that was nice, having a, a chance to like catch up on that a little bit too. Just lurking in bed, having a stream on, on my phone while I, while I lie back and feel sorry for myself. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for the, the hype train, though. I did not expect it. But yeah, so before I start the game, uh, one thing I want to do is I'm going to go over to my Just Chatting screen because I want to show Addy. Here. Now you can see it. You can see them on the screen. Look, there they are. It's the Otolotls. They're real. The Otolotls. They're so cute. I love how they turned out. <laughs> I love them so much. I've got some on the shelf as well. Oh, thank you so much for the hype train, everybody. I appreciate it so much. But yes, this is one of the things I revealed on my stream on Sunday. Uh, the community mascot. For fans of Leary Leary streams, the community mascot is the Otolotl. So it's basically like, I don't know, like, depends on the person. If you want it to be like a persona for you, you can. Or if you're like, I am not an otolotl, you can just adopt one and it can sit on your head. Like, the otolotls are flexible. But everyone can own their own otolotl. Like, the idea is they come in so many different colors. You can customize them how you wish. You can give them little hats. You can put ribbons on their tails. You can decorate them however you wish. They love to be dressed up. They're not like cats, where you put clothes on them and they sink to the ground. They love dressing up. They're lovely little creatures. And also they are guaranteed to never commit arson as well. Like, just as a little added bonus. They don't even know what fire is. They have no idea how to set fires. Trust me, it's, they're good. They, they don't know how to 
commit arson, so, uh... <laughs> but yeah, aren't they so cute? Yeah, you can give them a little worm on a string, buddy. Have, like, the little worm on a string going up their tails. But yeah, I decided as well that, um... Like, on the stream, I just had a moment of, like, the, the automatome part, what is that? I guess it's their tail? Yeah, that's their tail. It's their tail. <laughs> they have very rigid tails that can play musical sounds. But yes, the otolotls are cute little creatures that make weird noises. And I hope everyone loves them. Because I, I, love, I love the otolotl community. <laughs> oh, they're cute. I'm... Oh, I, I zoomed myself in. Hi. Also, Tails the Fox, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. And also, Kura Syllabus, welcome. And Tim, welcome too, Uncle Tim. It's me, it's Gummy Cat, except don't eat my hair. It, it tastes like hair. <laughs> but aren't they cute? They're so cute, I think. I'm, I'm really excited for, like, the future. I want to arrange a bunch of stuff so it's really easy to customize them. So anyone can make their own otolotl. I feel like it'd be really nice to set up like a, a pick mix at some point. Wait, you have the cursed autolotl draft? Yes, yes, it is completely fine to share. Because I actually shared um, in the stream some of the... <laughs> some of the images I originally sent you. Like the, the very first draft that I, I drew on my phone. Hold on, let me find the image. Let me find the image. The first ever idea I had for the otolotl uh, was this. Oh, there it is! Yes! Oh, the curse draft. Yes, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, this image was like my my first idea. It's it's a strange creature. And I was like joking around like, because I was like, I'm thinking of mascots. And I was like, what if I combine an automaton and an axolotl? And then after I drew that, I drew this. And I was like, hold on. Hold on a second, I might be onto something here. I, I may be cooking, I may have this. I may, I may be having a great idea here. Anyway, yeah, this is the, the first cursed draft. <laughs> Look at that. It's so good. It's so good. And then, and then there's this one. I love this one. It's so, it's so good. It's <laughs> I love that we were cooking. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm so, so glad. I'm, I feel like that what started as a silly whim ended up being like one of the most beautiful things I've ever made. <laughs> and then like, Addy, I'm so thankful for, for you like agreeing to do it for me too. Cause they're so cute. They are so, so cute. I love how they've turned out. But yes, uh, otolotls are happy little creatures. They're just having a good time. They are simply doing their best, and I love them very much. And they're very cute. And they come in all sorts of colors, all sorts of decoration. They can have little hats on. I, I keep mentioning little hats. I think I just want to see them all with little hats on. <laughs> That's like my wishful thinking. I'm like, someone please put little hats on them. I love them. But yes, those are the otolotls. There's a, there's a couple on my shelf too. But everyone seems to like them. So that, that makes me very happy because that makes me think that we can have a, a, lovely little, a lovely little room full of otolotls. Everyone's got their own. Just looking after them. They're all having a good time. Not committing us. <laughs> But yeah, I, I love how they, they turned out. Also, Melamea, hello! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Educational games. Every game can be educational if you want it to. That's true. It's, there's always some kind of education. But uh, by educational game, I mean it's like a children's game. Like, I played this game when I was in primary school. <laughs> I'm excited to play more of it. Oh, yes. Oh, you want your otolotl with a sticky note on his forehead? Yes! Yes, perfect. Yes, exactly. Just completely covering the eyes so the poor thing can't see. 
But yes, anyway, let me go. Blah. Wait, move me. There, thank you. <laughs> Put me back to the game now. <laughs> Also, Lumsev, hello! Welcome, welcome! But yes, welcome in, everybody, and thank you so much for the birthday wishes, too. It is my extended birthday. Um, I ended up not being able to do the 12-hour stream I wanted to do for my birthday because I was um, starting to get sick <laughs> due to probably stress and overwork. I'm still a little bit sick. I'm... I'm noticing now, like, the more I'm talking, I, I keep, like, accidentally breathing in through my mouth. And now I want to cough. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm okay now. I'm okay now. <laughs> but, oh, thank you for the work, work, Limsev. I hope the, I hope your work goes well today. But thank you for stopping in. Thank you for stopping in for my, um... My shorter stream than usual today. I've I've put my I've given myself a cap for the stream today. Like no matter how much better I'm feeling, I'm I'm not gonna stream for more than two hours today because I know that I, I'm I'm gonna enjoy the streaming and keep going, and then it's more likely that I overwork myself again. So I'm gonna <laughs> try my best not to do that. Also, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna sound really really out of breath this stream I think <laughs> Whew. I'll be okay though I'll be good also brisket hello welcome welcome okay so if I'm not done by lunch yes yes just throw things at me tell me to go lie down <laughs> but yeah I'm I've I've set an alarm on my phone to remind me when to stop but yeah I'm I, I really wanted to stream today. Like, I wanted to stream yesterday, but I was still feeling really bad and coughing a lot, and I was like, I I shouldn't. As much as I want to, I should not stream today. So I very begrudgingly just lay in bed all day. Like, I didn't want to. Like, I know so many people who would be, like, over the moon to have a day where they could just lie in bed and do nothing. But I was so bored. <laughs> I was so bored, I couldn't do anything. I ended up making the thumbnail for today's stream on my laptop because I was just like, I'm so bored, I need to do something. <laughs> but uh, I did I did really enjoy how the thumbnail came out. Hold on, let me let me load it. I, I do have to tap out of the game so it's going silent again, but it's okay. I just want to show off the thumbnail. Boom. There's the thumbnail I made for today's stream. <laughs> See, this is like the original box art. And it was so hard to find this in a decent resolution. I had to, like, waifu upscale it to make it big enough. And then, like, I had to extend the grass out in the background. And I made it look so bad, so I just stuck myself over it to hide the mess I made <laughs> on the right-hand side. But yeah, I, the Zumbinis are so cool. So, like, for anyone who doesn't know this game then basically oh wait no I just realized I was about to start explaining things I can just play like the intro video I'm pretty sure there's an option like if I go here yeah we can just watch the intro video let me just show you the intro also um all of the audio is super crunchy because it's like the original narrator from the original game from I don't know when this game was first released it was like in the 90s I'm pretty sure. But let's watch the intro! Yeah! Not too long ago, Zumbinis enjoyed the good life. Oh, yeah! Though they all looked slightly different, different eyes, noses, hair, feet, such differences meant nothing to the Zumbinis. Wow, this is so much louder. <laughs> Look at them! And like so a... they lived happily on Zumbini Isle, making small, useful products which were prized the world over. I love them. The Zumbinis had a sense of fulfillment and inner peace, not to mention healthy bank accounts. Then one day, who should show up but the bloats? Oh, 
a blow. The bloats offered to help the Zumbinis grow their businesses. Expand their trade routes. Scammers. And improve their quality of life. Filthy scammers. Being trusting sorts, the Zumbinis agree. The Zumbinis are too pure for this life. They're too good. But before long, no. the bloats had taken over everything. The, the Zumbinis are so sweet profits, and lovely. I don't know why this is so loud. holidays, <laughs> piling on work. The oh. Zumbinis were getting pretty stressed out. Oh, big mood. <laughs> well, you can push them only so far before they take matters into their own hands. Revolution! Uh, so to speak. <laughs> so they decided to escape and build a new home in a distant land. Yeah! Good for them. Good for them. The revolution of the Zumbinis. Oh, there's difficulty. Oh, yeah. Considering this is a children's game, we're going, we're going to go on very, very hard, I think. I don't know. I think I have to actually start the game before it'll let me choose a difficulty. But yeah, revolution. See, the game's like a much more reasonable volume now. <laughs> Yeah, healthy bank accounts. I know, right? Like, imagine. <laughs> oh, wait, Suzume, you think you still have the CD for Zumbinis? That's so cool. I never actually owned this game. I just played it in school. Because when I was in school, this game was installed on all of the computers in our, in our computer room. Along with a game called The Crystal Rainforest. And, oh, there was another one. I don't remember what it was called. But there was another educational game too, but it was really rubbish. And nobody ever played it. Everyone always played either Crystal Rainforest or Zumbinis. <laughs> but yeah, this game specifically is... Um, it's just been branded as Zumbinis for the release on Steam. But the original name was The Logical Journey of the Zumbinis. And I know there's like another two games as well. But this one is all like logic based puzzles, which is perfect for me because I'm I'm a logic puzzle gamer. <laughs> so it'll be very embarrassing if I'm bad at this game. But yes, anyway, we're at the start of the game now. So we're getting ready to make our bid for freedom with the Zumbinis. And basically what we do is that the start of the game, we are just making characters. And when I was in school, I always started with one like this. I always had one like this, and then I had one like this. And that was how I started every single game. I was like, I'm making the girls. The girlies are <laughs> Every single time, it's like the pink shoes, the pink nose, the, the sultry eyes, and then the two more, more feminine hairstyles. <laughs> And I'd be like, yes, it is time. The the ladies are here. Ah, uh, wow, major memory unlocked. Oh, hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Oh, yeah, I, I used to love this game so much when I was younger. I When I saw that it was on Steam, I was <laughs> I was amazed. I was like, you know what? I have to. I have to I have to try it at some point. And so that point is now because uh I'm sick, so I don't want to do anything too intensive. So I thought, what better than a game meant for, like, <laughs> young children? <laughs> it's perfect. It's exactly what I need. Uh, he typed revolution and then Twitch stopped working for a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, the ladies are here. Also, Bob, hello. Welcome. Thank you for the hydrate and head fat. Welcome in. I'm drinking the remains of my ultra peachy keen from Sunday at the moment. Welcome, welcome. I also have a warm flask with a, a comforting hot drink, which I'm enjoying. So I'll have a sip of that too. Yeah. Rika, you're the, oh my, the part part games. Oh, 
I used to love the Putt Putt games. Those are the ones I actually owned. Uh, Putt Putt and Freddy Fish. I loved Freddy Fish. I was like the biggest Freddy Fish fan. I, I love the Freddy Fish games. And oh, what else is there as well? Uh, Spy Fox. I love Spy Fox. Remember this and Clue Finders and Carmen San Diego. I, I never actually played the Carmen San Diego games. And I never played Pajama Sam either. Like, I knew of it, but it was never one of the games that I had that I played. But I played the Freddy Fish games. And I did play the Putt Putt games. And I really liked uh, Spy Fox in Dry Cereal. <laughs> but uh, that was the only Spy Fox game I played. And I think there's more of that. But, uh, y you know, I think I would actually genuinely love to just play a bunch of, like, children's games at some point. Just be just to, like, revisit them. To see if they're as good as I remember. <laughs> like, I can think of so many games I used to have. I loved them so much. I had so many, so many CD-ROM games. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I would love the Carmen San Diego games. I, I just like never had them and never got around to playing them. But ah, uh, yeah, finding out Freddy is female was such a moment. Oh, I, I, yeah, I know. Freddy Fish being being female is like the the greatest moment for me yeah freddy fish it's it's freddy with an eye freddy fish uh yeah she's she's a girl <laughs> first time i found out i was really excited because i was like oh my god oh my god a female main character i am i'm also a female <laughs> can i also be a main character but yeah i i remember like when i was younger i would spend hours and hours on my computer playing uh, Freddy Fish Maze Madness, which was like a maze game where you solve puzzles and go through the maze and open things in the right order. And it also had like a build your own level part of it. And I would just spend hours making levels on Freddy Fish Maze Madness. And they were not good, I'm pretty sure. I was, I was very young as I was making them. <laughs> But I love them. There was also like one series of CD-ROM games I really loved that was like... Was it Madeline? Yeah, it was Madeline. And I'm pretty sure she was... It was like, yeah, Madeline is a little French girl. And there were like educational games that would teach you French as you play. And I loved those. Also, yes, I kept my go live as it's my birthday because it's still it's still a continuation in my birthday celebrations. <laughs> I, I wanted to stream for 12 hours on Sunday, but I couldn't do that. So I was like, you know what? I, I'm going to keep my live message as that. I'm going to keep it like that. Oh my goodness, wait, hello. Dakuma, hi Kuma, welcome. Welcome, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, how was how was your stream? Were you uh, was it Gacha? Were you doing Gacha? Was it Gacha? I, I I'm not entirely sure what you were doing. I hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome on in everybody. Welcome to uh, Zoom Beanies. <laughs> to anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And I'm currently. <laughs> About to start playing a children's game from the 90s. <laughs> but uh, welcome on in, welcome. Oh, thank you so much for raiding me. You got the S character. Oh, I'm so glad you got the character you wanted. I saw your your tweet saying that you were gonna gonna stream. <laughs> so I was I was hoping you would get the character you wanted. But oh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. I really appreciate it. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Dakuma is a member of Studio Nekomata, who uh, Verpro did the, the merch collab with, and uh, also are part of the, the Studio Elan game jam this month, too. Cooking up some incredible things. Check everything out. Very, very cool. But yeah, Dakuma is awesome. Thank you so much for raiding me. I hope you're doing well. And uh, if, if you have to head off after your stream and... Uh, have some rest or get some food or drink then that is completely fine but if you want to stick around for a bit um i'm hopefully going to demonstrate 
how smart I am by solving puzzles for like eight year olds. <laughs> But I am going to play the game on, like, the hardest difficulties, so maybe it'll actually be puzzling. We'll see. We'll see. It might be easy, it might be difficult. I have no idea. It's been literal decades since I played this game. <laughs> oh, you have to study for an exam. Oh, I hope the studying goes well. Good luck with the exam when that happens. But thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. I really appreciate it. But yes, everyone, uh, check out Dakuma. She's lovely. Everyone in Nekomata is so lovely, honestly. Like, I'm... I I loved doing the Verpro merge collab, and, like, I, I would love to work with them again at some point in the future, maybe, maybe, possibly. Just... <laughs> just saying that just in case, but, uh... But yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate the raid. But yes, welcome in everybody. This is a continuation of my birthday stream, which was on Sunday. Um, I was starting to feel sick, so I had to end the stream earlier than I wanted to. Uh, I, I still went for like eight hours. I keep saying like, I'm so sad my stream was so short and it was an eight hour stream, <laughs> which isn't short. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm continuing the birthday times. It's still my birthday because I say so. <laughs> Let's collab again someday. I would love that. I would love that so much. I love it. I'll I'll get in touch. <laughs> but good luck with the studying. Thank you so much for the raid. And uh, for any of the raiders who want to stick around, welcome to Zumbinis. Right. What what character should I make? Does anyone have any preferences? We've got like the the five different hairstyles here. These are like the eyes for the face. There's the different color noses. And the legs are like, this is like a little conveyor belt, like a, like a tank wheels. This is a little propeller thing, like a, like a helicopter. This is a spring. Okay, we're having the spring tail. These are just like pink shoes. And then these are roller skates. Let's go for a spring. Wait, because Rika said spring, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that and that to look as, like, frog as possible. <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized. Can you name them? Oh, it's just, like, random names. Okay, I've not been paying attention to the names. Uh, they they get their own random names. But these, these, are, <laughs> these are frog now. <laughs> right, let's try and get, a, like, a, a mixture of features. So I haven't done this hair yet. Let's have some shades. What would go with the shades? Maybe like the pink nose to match the shades? And roller skates. That's cool. Look look how cool this Zumbini is. Look at them. Also hope to have me collaborating for the game. I would be happy to. <laughs> But, oh, you're on mobile because you're going to pick up the shoes for your cousin's wedding. Oh, oh that's so exciting. I hope you get nice shoes. Because I know you were trying on the, the dress the other day, too. That's exciting. Weddings are always such a, a happy time to me. I, I love that. Right, you know what? Let's do this one again, but, like, with the big glasses instead. Right, what I want to do is um, slightly metagaming, because I have played this before in the past. Um, I want to make sure I have, like, pairs of all of the features. So I want to make sure I have at least two with the same feet, two with the same nose, two with the same eyes, two with the same hairstyle, for, for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> so let's go, like, red nose now for two of them. Let's have... The little tracks. Look at this guy. What a cool Zombini. Look at this. <laughs> and then we've got one red nose, so let's do the these glasses and the ponytail. Yeah, look at that. Look how cool they are. Like, there really is so much you can do. Anyway, let's have some Cyclops ones with yellow noses and the little propellers. That hair. 
that hair. I don't remember how many you can make to take with you. I might just start randomizing them. <laughs> I might start randomizing and just see what happens. <laughs> Unless anyone else has a preference. If anyone has like a combination they really want to see, let me know. I'll, I'll make a Zumbini like that just for you. Oh, you got a better dress and you look great in it. Oh, that's so exciting. It, it makes such a difference when you you find clothes that you, you feel good in. <laughs> I'm very glad. Right, random? Oh, hello, look. Oh no, it's randomizing all of them. Okay, that that's randomize all, I guess. That's randomize one. Well, I guess this is the gang now. This is... This is my first expedition of Zumbinis, I guess. Oh, I guess I can send them back if I want. <laughs> now nah, let's let's bring these these guys. They look pretty cool. Let's go. Oh, this is so nostalgic. The little jingle. <laughs> oh, it's so loud again. After days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zumbinis reach the shore of a peculiar land. Where are we? I remember this. Vaguely. I don't fully remember how this works, but uh, I'm pretty sure, like... A lot of this game is like, you don't know what you're doing. You have to try things out and then make, like, logical conclusions as to what you have to do. So I'm going to send you over there. <laughs> the horror sound effect. The worries of the bridge. I genuinely... Wait, what happens if I click the question mark? Oh no, this this says how to do it. Okay, just get all 16 of the Zumbinis across the allergic cliffs. Place a Zumbini on the, onto the glowing area near the start of a bridge. When all Zumbinis have crossed or the bridges have fallen, click the green arrow to continue. Okay, <laughs> I thought that was part of the game. <laughs> yeah, just the, the horror sound effects for a children's game. Okay, yeah, I remember how this works now. I'm I'm pretty sure, like, the cliff faces are allergic to certain features of the Zumbinis. So I'm just going to start with everyone on the lower bridge. Okay, these ones are fine. The bridge, the cliffs are not allergic to these ones. Let's try you. Yes, you're fine. Let's try you. Oh. Nope. Okay, so this this cliff face is allergic to this Zumbini. So we know it's not the eyes, because we've sent one over with those eyes. And it's not the hair, because we sent one over with those with that hair. So it's either the the blue nose or the roller skates <laughs> that the cliff is allergic to. <laughs> so anyway, you're gonna have to go across the top. And using this, we can logically deduce <laughs> what the cliff is allergic to. So let's try something else to double check. Let's send one over with just the roller skates, but not the blue nose. Okay, you're allergic to roller skates. <laughs> We know that this one is allergic to the roller skates now, so all the ones with the roller skates will send you up the top. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, so they'll have to go over here. <laughs> also, Tay, hello, welcome. Welcome to Zumbinis. I'm reliving my childhood. <laughs> Right, so the main question is, we don't know if this cliff is allergic to more than the shoes. But we can find out by sending over... Do I have any that don't have any of these features? I guess this one. 
Let's test you out. Okay, not allergic to you, that's good. Let's try you. Not allergic? This is good? This is a good sign. Oh, no, stay with him. I, I don't know how to check the difficulty. I may be playing this on the easiest difficulty. <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out a way to change the difficulty before playing the game. So this might just be the easiest difficulty, in which case this is going to be a great time. This is just what I need. I can feel smart without having to actually think too much. Let's try you. Yeah, this one, I think this one is only allergic to the roller skates. Yeah, we're fine. Yep. Yep. Yeah, literally just allergic to the roller skates. Easy peasy. Look at that. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Oh, the the narrator the narrator for this game is so great. I'm so glad it keeps like the original narration for the the remaster. Makes me very happy. It's so nostalgic. I'm really glad they kept the same sounds and music. These stone guards have their rules. So do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow. The other guard surely will. So yeah, basically the same thing again. It's going to be figuring out what, what the rules are. What did we do to deserve this? They're back! Hi! It's basically just figuring out the rules and then doing it. Right, so we have nothing to go with to begin with, so we'll just send one into here. Hmm. Yep, that one's allowed in there. Okay. How about you? Da -da -da. Don't be shy. Yep, they're fine. How about this one? Welcome. Okay. Yep. yep, these ones are all fine. That's good to know. So you should be fine, I think. Yep. How about you? Move it, toot. Yep. Yeah, this one is basically the same as the bridges, but there's two options now. <laughs> so if one agrees, but the other doesn't, then you do the outside path and the other will agree. <laughs> also, Addy, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you sleep well. I'm glad you're able to make it. Also, thank you for throwing something at me as well, Bob. Throwing the things at me. Uh, reading difficulty only increases by repeating puzzles. Oh, so I have to actually play it on easy before I can increase the difficulty? Is that how it works? I don't know. Either way, uh, I'm, I'm happy with it being easy for now. Yeah, these guards just seem very mm, okay. fine with everything. Oh, nope. Okay. You don't like the ones with one eye. I see. We well, accept all the rest. Welcome. Yeah? Oh, no, not you either. Okay. Nope. <gasps> propellers! You don't like the propellers! So this one will let the propellers up. Yes. Don't be shy. Yeah, this one seems fine with everything so far. The only thing I haven't done is these eyes, so I think this one's probably gonna be mad. Sure! Don't be shy. Oh no, you're fine with it. Okay, so yeah, propellers up here. You'll do! And the rest up here? Step right yeah, up. that was you easy. Got but... them all through. <laughs> this guard Good does not care you. about anything. This guard just lets them all through. <laughs> nice. Let's go. You've done quite well. Thank How you. delightful. So delightful. And so our brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet. Arno, the almost omnivorous, one oh. very hungry pizza troll. I remember this so, so vividly. Fleens? You're, You're not, not fleens. fleens. Well, whoever you are. Huh. 
whatever you are. Make, Make me a pizza. pizza. Yes, this is like the <laughs> the most vivid, vivid memory I have of this game. Is this whole section with just fleas? You're not fleas. Whatever you are. Make me a pizza. <laughs> Why do they look like lemmings? They're not. They're zumbinis. They're zumbinis. They are completely different. Uh, even though they <laughs> just blindly do whatever I tell them to. Hi, Zarok. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Also, thank you for the hydrate barb. I had a, a sip while we were moving areas. But yeah, I'm so excited to be playing this again, honestly. Also, Jack, hello. Welcome. Surprising what you remember from your childhood. Yeah, it's like the 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 thing I remember the most vividly about this game is the make me a pizza section. Like So now this is basically trial and error. We need to put stuff on the pizza. And then it'll either be accepted or rejected. Come on. More stuff. Yep, you want more stuff? But you're fine with the cheese. So let's have cheese and mushrooms. Let's try that. Something on that I don't like. Okay, you don't like mushrooms. Get that out of here. So we'll go pepperoni. <laughs> Or sausage? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, meat. Something on that I don't like. You don't like meat either? Okay. That's fine, my bad. Uh, do you like peppers? Pepper pizza? Yeah, yeah. Nope. You don't like peppers? So it's gonna be cheese and pineapple. <laughs> Cheese and pineapple pizza, sure. There you go. <laughs> Sounds like the kind of pizza I would have. Thank you, thank you. He's so happy. Yeah, this is definitely the easiest difficulty. <laughs> Why not? It's more the fact that it's literally nothing well except done, the pineapple. Well <laughs> done, wise and trusted guide. <laughs> Like, whenever anyone mentions pineapple pizza, there's usually at least one other <laughs> thing on there, too. But I, I like pineapple on pizza. I think it has, like, a, it gives it, like, a nice... A nice tang. I, I really like it. I don't... I don't get the hate for pineapple on pizza, because I'm just like, if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. You simply do not have to eat it. You can just have pizza without pineapple. There's no reason to get mad at other people enjoying it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad we made you a nice pizza. Now we can move on. <laughs> yes, pizza appreciators, yes. Pizza appreciators, pineapple pizza. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. What's <gasps> this? A campsite with hot soup all ready to eat? Looks yeah. like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax. But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. This is the part I remember. I'm pretty sure moving on from here, we will need pairs of Zumbinis. And what you can do is, like, you can store Zumbinis. Like, you can put them in storage. <laughs> You could put them in storage and then come back with another lot of Zumbinis. Like, bring along their twins. So I'm going to put these all... Put them all in their little bunks for now. They're all in their, their little bunks. Having a little rest in there. And I'm going to go back to the map. Yeah, I can't change the difficulty. I think it is just on easy. So we've got 16 Zumbinis here, and seeing this over here, that basically means there's 384 combinations of Zumbinis that we need to get to the end of the game. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to finish the entire game in this stream. 
because you have to repeat it many times. <laughs> but I would like to make some matching zoom beanies before I move along. Let's see if it'll let me. Let me test. If I just go like... If I just go like with my, my classic like... Yeah, now we now we can bring the twins along. Okay, but I need to remember which ones I've already brought. I, I want to make twins of every single Zumbini here. So I'm going to very quickly screenshot this. <laughs> so that I can recreate them all perfectly. Give me a second. Okay, we're we're making the twins of every single Zumbini here. Because I've played this game before and I know that I need matching ones at some point. <laughs> Storing Zumbinis. Yeah, I'm I'm just like putting them in their bunks. <laughs> also, Pop, that's completely fine. <laughs> oh, I've done that before. I've 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 been meaning to like type in a stream chat before and I've sent like a message on Discord to one of my friends. So don't worry about it. And de delete it for you if you like. There you go. Don't worry about it. I didn't see anything. What are you, what are you talking about? Right, let's recreate all of the Zumbinis I made from before. So I've I've got these two. My <laughs> my childhood default ones. Right, so now we'll do this one with an eye and a yellow nose and a propeller. And we've got you with one eye, blue nose and rollerblades. We've got this one with the dot eyes and the green and the spring. And this one. We've got funky hair, glasses, pink nose and rollerblades. They are really cool looking though. I love these little creatures. <laughs> They're so cute. And then the same one, but with shades. And then glasses, ponytail, red nose, and wheels. Shades, blue nose, rollerblades. Yeah. This one with shades, pink nose, and propeller. Look at them. Look how cool they are. We've got you like these. That one's just called Hose. <laughs> the random the random name it generated was just like, yeah, you're Hose. Bam 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 bam. We got you. Red nose and wheels. Dan out. We've got this one. Shades green feet. Yabria. We've got that. One eye yellow and propeller. We've got. Oh, Twoozy. Twoozy. I like that name. And we got that hair, that, that, and wheels for Quaggy. There we go. We got our gang. Let's go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, that's sixteen. Sending off. Right, so we're gonna do the levels again. But I'm gonna speed run this time. We know what we're doing. Let's just start sending them over to try and figure out what you're allergic to. Oh, this one. So it's not the ponytail, so it's any of the other three. <laughs> so let's send one over that has another feature the same as this. Let's try you, because you've got two matching features, so we can see if it's the shades. Okay, it's not the shades. So it's either the blue nose or the rollerblades. Let's send you over. You have rollerblades. Yes, you're allergic to rollerblades. Okay. So the skaters go up the top. 
and then I think everyone else is fine to just go along the bottom bridge. <laughs> yeah! I'm a master of logic. <laughs> I'm a logical genius. Send them over. See, it does get more interesting when you play on higher difficulty because it adds more, like, combinations. But on the easiest one, it's just like, there's a single thing <laughs> that you've got to find. Whoa, my! You've done exceptionally well! Thank you! Carry on, carry on! Thank you, I have done exceptionally well, thank you. It was so difficult. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sunken shell, hello. These stones. Welcome. They're blue. <sighs> the floodgates are opened. It seems. Lemmings. That's the second person calling them lemmings now. They're zombinis. They're they're lovely little creatures. They would definitely not jump off a cliff if I told them to. No, they probably would, actually. <laughs> but uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Zimbinis. I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time, which is try and send them all up here. Okay. Many try, few succeed. Okay, you don't like this one, so I'll send you up the, the further path. Mm, okay. Proceed. Right, what didn't you like then? Let's try this one, because the only thing different is the hair. Hmm. Okay, so it's not the hair Many that's try, the problem. Many try, few succeed. It's not the hair that's the problem. It's one of these one three features. One of the features. chosen few. Thank you. Let's try just the feet. Is it the feet you don't like? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't like feet. Okay. <sighs> Okay, yeah, this one does not like pink shoes. Well, why not? So the ones with Step the pink shoes in. Okay, go by along me. the edge. And then I think everyone else can probably go through well, here. Well, why not? Oh no, okay. This way. There's something uh -uh. else you don't like. Okay, hmm. <laughs> wow, this one's being really picky this time. I wonder what else you don't like. Is it the propeller? Oh, this one has loads of like sure. similar features, so I'll just send you up anyway. Uh, what don't you like about you? Is it the hair? Oh, oh, you don't like that. Nope. Okay. Well, how about this side? Okay, I don't think this one likes this hair. I can't let you in. Yeah, this one doesn't like the hair. And then there was something else that this one didn't like about this one, so that's quite mean. Yeah, I love the mm -hmm. the, the encouragement in this. <laughs> <laughs> the little moments of just like, you've done so well. You're a genius. Like I as as a child, it's like the most rewarding thing. As an adult, it's the most rewarding thing. <laughs> Like I, I hear it. I, I'm, I'm such a, I'm so easily pleased by validation in video games. Like I still remember playing the Talos Principle two, like the very opening of that game, like the tutorial part, when I was being complimented by Elohim, I was just sat there smiling to myself, like, yeah, I did do good. Yeah, you're proud of me. I did well. <laughs> like, it genuinely feels so validating. It's, it's really nice. Right, I guess I'll send you up here, I guess. I wonder what it is you don't like. Oh, it might be the hair. No, because that was the same hair. Maybe the dot eyes? Let's try that. Mm, okay, okay. No. I must be careful about who I let in. Wow, this one is so picky today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Being praised by Father Elohim is great. It really is. It's so good. But it's so nice. Also, May the Succubus. Hello. Welcome, welcome. 
This looks cute. Yeah, this game is so cute. It's a, it's like a children's educational game from the 90s. But uh, it got remastered and put on Steam. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I, I remember my childhood. I must play this game at some point. I have to. But yeah, it is so nice. <laughs> it's because we weren't told it enough as children. And games are so hard now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just want to feel like I've done a good job and be praised for it. Like, is is that so much to ask for? It's it's nice getting a bit of positive validation. Like, just being able to smile. It's nice. I think it might be, like, feet-based. Do go in. I think the, the cliffs this time are completely feet-based. So I'm going to try sending you... Okay. Oh, not completely. I can't let you in. Okay, but the one at the top can. Move it. Yeah, this like one is incredibly certainly. picky. Okay, but do you like roller skates? Hmm. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't... <laughs> I must be careful about who I let I think in. This one just doesn't want anybody through there at the moment. This one just doesn't like anyone. Yeah, you can go up there. Okay. Up this way? Mm -hmm. You good? Yeah. <laughs> You'll do. Do go in. Yeah, this is You'll the friendly do. one this time. You'll let him through. You'll do. Certainly. Yeah, there we go. Sure. So yeah, this one is just. You Not letting anyone did it. through. <laughs> you saved them all. I did. I did do it. I did save them all. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> You've done quite well. How delightful. Yeah. So and what's the so aim for this? Uh, planes? <laughs> you are not planes. Hold on. Let's let him talk about his pizza. Huh. Whatever you are. Make me a yeah, pizza! pizza. Uh, the aim of this game is we are liberating the Zumbinis. The Zumbinis had a lovely life. They they made little things. They earned a lot of money. They lived a lovely, happy life. Then um, the bloats came in and basically claimed that they could help them get richer and be live a better life and all that kind of stuff. But they were just scammers yeah. and basically turn the Zumbinis into slaves. So the Zumbinis have made their escape and we are now trying to get them across the realm to find them a new home to settle down in. <laughs> so that is the job. Uh, what if you don't want to save them all? Then uh, this is the wrong game for you. <laughs> we have to save them all. There's like 400 of them. <laughs> right, anyway, let's see what you want on your pizza. I'm going to start with like three things. No, I'll, I'll just start with cheese. Let's just start with the cheese and pineapple and see what happens. What do you want? Okay, you don't like one of those things. Let's try just cheese. Something on that. You don't I like don't cheese, like okay. You don't like cheese. Let's try peppers. You like that? Come on! More stuff! You want more? Okay. How about that? How about some meat as well? You want some meat too? Okay, you like both of those though, that's good. Also, Bob, have fun with the, the shoe shopping. Thank you for stopping in. Right, let's uh let's try with mushrooms. Do you like this? Thank you. Yes, that's thank what he wanted. You. There we go. Splendid job! Splendid! <laughs> Man, splendid is such a good word. I don't, I don't feel like I hear people say splendid enough. I love the word splendid. Splendid job. It's me <laughs> doing a splendid job. Look 
at him go. They're so cute. I love the Zumbini so much. Hold on. What's this? A campsite with hot soup all ready to eat? Looks like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax. But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. Yeah, and this now is where I want to make sure I, I have them in pairs. We're bringing the twins along now. Oh, oh, you love the word asinine? Oh, me too. It's a good word. <laughs> Peppers, pepperoni, and portobello. I, I like the alliteration there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about mushrooms, to be honest. Right, so which twins should we bring along? Right, well, like, my, my original starting girlies, we're going to bring these. Let's bring along the spring friends. Let's have the two spring ones. And then I want to make sure there's a, a good variety of features when we move on. So let's have you, because we don't have one with a red nose yet. Oh, actually, no, let's do you for the red nose. You have the yellow nose. Okay. I can't put you down. Go on the path, please. Uh, funky hair. And... We don't have a blue nose one yet, so... These ones, blue nose. Right, let's, let's go along with this group. Right, now, do do we take the top path or the bottom path? Which direction do we want to go in? I feel like I vaguely remember what's each way, but I'm I'm not entirely sure. It's been so long since I played this. But I think going up this way, there are fleens, and going down this way, there's a boat. I'm not sure. It could be the other way around. Or that could happen later on. I don't remember. Which way should I go? You know what? I'm going to go up to begin with. I'm going to go up. I'm making a decision. <laughs> Fleens? Fleens. F-L-E-E-N-S. They're creatures Zumbinis in this game. Zumbinis must have something in uh -huh. common with their neighbor to sit on Captain Cajun's ferry. This is the ferry one. I remember. <laughs> But yeah, fleens are um, kind of mean. Hee <laughs> hee. Welcome to the boat. Yeah. Now hurry yourselves up and find your seat. Thank you. Right, everyone has to have something well, in common. Well, sit wherever you want to. I don't really care. With the one they're sitting next to. So the easiest way to do this at the moment would be to... Oh, these don't have... The only thing these have in common is the ponytails. So I think we're going to have these two on the there end. There you go, you got it. We're going to have these, have to have these two on the end and have them next to the ponytail ones. Because that's the only thing they have in common. So these ones as well with the hairstyle, the only thing they're going to have in common is either like the nose or the roller skates. So they have the same nose, so we'll there go like you go, that. you got it. And then let's have the roller skates. And then these ones have the same hair and eyes. Ah, sure. Then, oh no, there's nothing else in common if I do it that way around. Yeah, they don't have anything. Okay, okay, different plan. Um, These two... Hey, what, I, oh. Oh, what are you doing there? These two are the most different. And they only have something in common with one of the others, so they are going to go here on the ends. There you go, you got it. With the only ones they have something in common with. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I wanted the ponytail one there. Right, so now you have this ah, in common with sure. the feet. Oh, this is... Can I even do this? Hold on. I think I can. If I do it this way now, 
so that they have a lot in common there. And then these have the same hairstyle. Ah, sure. And these have the same everything except the hairstyle. They all have something in common sitting next to each other. Whew, that was actually really difficult with the ones I brought along with me. <laughs> nice. It can all go, though. I'm a genius. Color, flower, and lily pad shape too may be the keys that get them through. Honestly, this is like a, a really in-depth puzzle game, especially for children. It's really good for like pattern recognition logic. Oh, they're so tiny. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Uh, basically, the way these frogs work is whatever symbol they have on them, that's the path they will take. So, for example, if I pick the red frog, it will only jump on the red lily pads. So if I put it here, it's going to be blocked. It can't get to the other side. But if I put it here, it can then go boo 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 along the path of red and along that way. <laughs> Right, there's a there's a blue path there as well that sends you off. I'm so glad you can send multiple ones of these at the same time because they're so slow. Yeah, we can't use the pink frog because there is not a pink path across. There's not a yellow path across either. Or a cyan one. So those are the only colour ones we can do. So like, I'm pretty sure if we wanted, we could just cheese it and just do the red and blue <laughs> until they're all across but i will have a look too uh okay three leaves there is a three leaf path it shares a path with the red at some point but we can do the three leaf path and send them across that way we'll just have to be careful when we send them red oh no we can only use it twice Okay, no, we can't fully cheese it. We can only use each frog twice. But that's fine. So we've got the the three... Uh, the pronged? That's the wrong term. <laughs> also, Valeria, hello! Welcome, welcome! And Akire, welcome! Thank you for the, the sound alert. The the pain when I realised I can't just cheese it. Teehee. But we, we can do each one twice at least, which is good. Oh, the frogs are giant. <laughs> Either the frogs are giant or the Zumbinis are just very small. I have no idea what the scale is for these creatures. But they are very tiny in this situation. <laughs> I know nothing about the actual, like, canonical size of the Zumbinis, to be honest. And thank you for the head pat, too. Alright, let's see what else we can work with. I guess, like, the, the flower patterns. We've got, like... Oh, no, we can't do, like, a flower that way. How about the diamonds? Okay, there is a diamond path. We can do the diamonds. What else could there be? The crosses? There's not a cross path. There isn't, like, a flowery flowers path, I don't think. No, that stops here. There, there isn't a flowery flowers path. Oh, there is a cross path. There's an X. There's an X path along there. So we can do the X along here, and then the diamonds. It was that one. Yeah, it was that one. So we can do that at least. Right, so we know it's not the pink. We can't make a pink path. We know it's not the yellow. We know it's not the cyan. So it's going to be one of the other ones. Send the X's across again. Bloop, over you go. Nice. Right, so is it going to be the two? I think it might be the two pronged ones. Yes, we can do the twos. 
we can make a path with the twos along that way. I don't know why, like, the others I find it so easy to see the paths, but with, like, the leaf shapes, I find it so hard to, like, take in what the shape of them is. <laughs> They're the hardest ones for me to, like, see and pass in my brain. The others are so easy, like, the colours is just the easiest one, because you can just immediately see the colours. But when it's, like, the the leaf shapes it takes me a second to actually register each shape i have to go along so slowly yeah it might be because of the symbols too like it's it's just funny because there's so many elements to each one and i can recognize all of the elements quite easily except for like the the shape yeah it it does they all just kind of blur together a little bit all right, so we got fours and beanies left, so it's probably the other shapes. So the one that's like a Pac-Man. Can we make a Pac-Man path? Yes, we can make a Pac-Man path. Pac-Man path. Yeah! Yeah! Even listening, you were confused what path the frog was going. Yeah, it's whatever the symbol is on the frog. Uh, some of them are just the color of what's on the lily pad. Some of them are the shape of the lily pad. And some of them are the pattern of the flower on the lily pad. There's like all three elements to each one. But you've got to just pay attention to one element <laughs> for the path. It's really clever. It's... It's recognizing, like, one element of a thing and focusing on that, which is really interesting. Right, so while that's going, I need to find the last one. I think it's going to be the four. No, there isn't one that starts with a four prong. So it's got to be... Is it, like, the flowers? Can I make a flower path? But then that stops here. Flower path here? The flower path like ends here though. I don't feel like I can make a flower shape flower path. And there isn't one with four at this edge. Don't make me leave two of them behind. There's, I'm pretty sure there's no way to do this. What the heck? No! Don't do this to me. Are there more flowers? Oh, there's flowers at the bottom. Oh! There's a flower path at the bottom. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, I was scared then for a second. Also, uh, I know it's a children's game, but the, the no back seating rule is still in effect. <laughs> I'm glad I saw it before I saw the comment, at least. But uh, I, I still like solving the puzzles myself, unless I, like, actively ask. <laughs> we got him. There we go. Got the Zumbinis. Yeah, it's, it's mostly just, like, uh, even though a lot of it is just, like, super easy, I still want um, the the emotional validation that I did everything myself and that I'm, I'm doing a splendid job and that I did great and I'm saving them all. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, we got them all over. Fabulous. Come on, my little Zumbinis. Our perilous journey continues to get home. Zumbinis will get a rise out of these stone hexes. If they can make the right connection. Oh, I think I remember this one. Ooh. Also, Brie, hello as well. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is this is easy. Easy. That's the brush you have. Right, so the the fact that I brought them all as twins means that this is straight up just the easiest level of all time because I just put all the twins together. 
Because this one is just like, they have to have the same hair to go together here. They have to have the same hair to go together here. They have to have the same feet to go together. I, I brought the twins along, so it's so easy. <laughs> Fortunate yeah. for beanies that you are their guide. How fortunate that I've definitely not played this game before and kind of cheated. <laughs> yeah, we got him. Easy peasy. Another campsite. Delirious in Beanie <laughs> expeditiously. <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. Little Zumbini, but with Leary Beaches. Amazing Beaches. indeed. Another relaxing campsite yeah. ready and waiting for Zumbinis. Oh, oh. And they'll need their rest. The darkest, most dangerous part of the journey is yet to ah. come. <laughs> Oh, scary. Oh, yeah. Right, you can, you can all camp for a little bit. What I'm going to do is, before I continue to the last area, I'm going to go back to the campsite in the middle and I'm going to take the, the bottom path so that everyone can meet the fleens. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's... I'm pretty sure the fleens are there. I'm pretty sure. I think. But I want to show both of the paths. I want to show both directions. So we're bringing out the friends who we left behind last time. <laughs> Zoomberry, yes! I need a Zoomberry to be real. <laughs> Honestly, I've got to say, like, this game is so much more fun than I thought it would be. Like, I was being like, yeah, th playing a children's game is probably not going to be the most... Um, thrilling thing for me with all the puzzle games I play but it's still kind of fun honestly like I'm it's still pretty fun to play <laughs> I just think it's such a charming game yeah right it's fun yeah here There's it is no sense leaving it up to chance lure the fleens off the tree branch thank you for pouring dice on my head wait let me let me roll a d20 I rolled a 17. That's really good. Anyway, here's the fleens. Look at them. Look how cool they are. Right, I don't remember what to do here. So I'm just going to send one out. Aha! I think all of the fleens have something in common with the others. And what we have to do here... Sparrow! Thank you so much for the resub, the 41 months. Oh my goodness. Thank you. How's it going? Welcome to my continued birthday celebrations. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. I'm playing a, a children's game from the 90s and genuinely enjoying it. But how's it going? Lovely to see you. Yeah, are they bullies? Yeah, the fleens are mean. The fleens are like... Blocking the way. They're like a gang. They're a little gang, and I remember now what we have to do. Is we have to get down the fleens that are... On top of this beehive. And the way we do that is by finding the parts that match. So now we know that like this hair is this hairstyle. These eyes are the shades. This nose is this nose. And the treadmill is the wheels. So we have a starting point here. And we can figure out through logical deduction on our logical journey <laughs> that it's probably going to be like the pink shoes are going to be the high heels. The propeller's going to be the, the little jetpack. That kind of thing. Cowboy boots for the roller skates, maybe. Maybe the other way around. Who knows? But we know for a fact we don't want one with the propeller legs to be scared of. We need these. 
Right, so we know it's one with shades. We've got the eyes here. So it's one of the ones with shades. So it's gonna be one of these ones. Hmm. Let's figure this out. You love Zimbinis! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. I've got to say, like, one of the fun things about playing this has been other people being like, I remember playing this, I love this game. Like, I, I'm i so happy that other people played it and loved it too, because I, I loved this game so much when I was younger. Like, every single time I got to play it on the school computers, <laughs> I was so excited. It's so fun. It's basically like Brainstorm. It kind of, but... Like, it's it's all about the logic, the logical deduction. So we can figure things out, like process of elimination. Uh, we can see that these eyes and these eyes are only shared by one. So it's going to be the big old glasses and the single Cyclops eye. And considering they're very close, like... The glasses are like the covered headband. We can probably presume that the one eye is going to be equivalent to the three eyes. And then these cool eyes are going to be like the the glasses, possibly. Possibly, possibly. We can figure it out with further logical deduction, too. Like, I can just start guessing now, but I, I feel like I can figure it out from what I have here. So I'm going to challenge myself. Also, Gregor, hello! Welcome, welcome! It's all full logic game. It's it's genuinely really fun. <laughs> Man, you want to play it? Oh, you should. You should. Let me be your... um. The, the inspiration for you to play Zimbini's. <laughs> it's so fun. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight with the shades and eight with the bandanas, so that's a really easy one. Oh, we've got four with like the like the the X-ray glasses. And we have four with the the eyelids. So we know that these are the eyelids. That associates with the eyelids. Right, so from that, we know that these the ones here with the eyelids have a ponytail, and these also have a ponytail. So whichever one of these there's four of, it's the bandana. No, hold on. Yes, there's only two hairstyles that are green, and then there's four with the bandana. So the bandana is a ponytail. The bandana is a ponytail. We know that now. And we figured out from this one that the shades are the bandana. So ponytail and shades is one of them. But we're going to have to do both of them because of the twins. So we can get you down. Okay. Right, yeah, I should still be able to figure it out without any of my Zumbinis falling off. <laughs> it's genuinely, like, it's, it's more fun than I remember. Like, th there's actual logic puzzles in it. It's really fun. It's a lot of like figuring out the patterns, working out what the rule is, and then building off that, which is really, really cool. And now from this as well, because we figured out this one, we know that the cowboy boots are the roller skates. So this one is going to be roller skates. And the only other one we have with roller skates is this one. So that's going to be this one. Or this one. Yeah, even with perfect deductive reasoning, I'm still limited because of the twins. Yeah, it's it works well for some parts and then limits me for others like like this. But I think it should still be okay. I don't know. I may lose one. We will see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> see, the, the twins are better for the top path, I think. But it's okay. Either way, we'll we'll still get these Zumbinis through here, I believe. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the propellers. And then because there's only two with this hairstyle, it's going to be uh, this one, I think. No, hold on. Propellers, propellers. It's four.
Yeah, but the propellers ones have the same. It's not the propellers. That's the shoes. These are the pink shoes. Yeah, these are the pink shoes, because the other two have the, the bandanas too. Okay, so... Pink shoes? It's gonna be these ones. Because it's the only one with... That hairstyle. Here we go. I think we may lose this one on the end. Which is sad. But it's okay. Yeah, we lost that one. We lost one Zumbini. But we saved the rest of them. Oh my god, that music was so loud. Okay, so we lost one purely because I had the twins. The twins is top path. I now know. But we should still be able to get them through, I think. At least most of them. We, we may lose you along the way. We'll see how it goes. We can get them back afterwards. It's not a problem. We got him. It's okay. Hurry, Zumpinis. Hula, the forest's foremost. And perhaps only, band leader is about to begin rehearsals. She'll be closing the hotel for the night, so scamper into a room. We'll see. We'll see. Guests? Hi. Ah, guests. I'll be right down. Make yourselves cozy. Hmm, just when I was starting Welcome. rehearsal. Welcome. You're just in time for tomorrow's concerto. Oh, thank you. Help yourselves to a room. I got rehearsal. Go ahead. Find yourselves a room. Okay, let's figure out how the rooms work. <laughs> Uh, also, I'd, I'd like to just very quickly point out again as well uh, that there's still a no back seating rule for the stream because if someone points something out in chat, that means I don't have my moment of saving them myself. <laughs> but oh, it's so nice. Oh, is this one of the old games where escape skips whatever animation's playing? No, that that was just like a bug that it it skipped through like that. <laughs> It just moved on to the next scene too quickly. But you can click to skip through things in this. So for like the transitions and stuff that you've already seen, you can just click and it will skip ahead, which is very, very nice. All right, let's figure out how the rooms work. Let's put you here. Have a room together. No, not that one. Okay. You have a room in there? Right, let me test something. I want to see if this is nose. Yes, I think it is same nose colors go together. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just noses. So the ones with the same nose color will share a room with each other. Yeah, it's just noses. Nice. Nice. Easy. I love the mini music as well. <laughs> they get the original music. I uh, would like to report that after playing Miku boxing six days in a row, your thighs are killing me. Yeah, exercise would do that. <laughs> Oh, I want to get Miku boxing, though. I need more exercise. I want to get it. It's getting... Oh, just look at the time. Got a split. See you in the morning. Yeah! We all found a room very easily. In record time. Let's continue! Without our, our brave fallen soldier. <laughs> About this Strike part. the targets one and all and watch for a pattern on Mudball Wall. Okay. I I remember this one existing. I don't remember how it works. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Ooh, 
Okay, so we got ones, twos, and three. Right, let's see what the information says. Uh, get all of the Zumbinis to the top of the wall by having them flip there by the mud ball machine. Okay, let's try it. Oh, and the difficulty of this one is not so easy as well. Right, I'm going to start with blue and square. Let's see what that does. Okay, that sent two of them up. Okay, so that's blue and square. So this row is either blues or squares. So let's try blue triangle and see what happens. Okay, this is the blue row. So this is squares. So we're going to stick with squares because we know the squares are going to be great. Red square. Great, it's the one, <laughs> the one square that wasn't sending them. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> yellow square. Nice. <laughs> Pink square. The third one. Yep. And then green square will send one of them up. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure this is the one level that messed you up when you were younger. Oh, the one for me that I always remember being the hardest. I think it's like in the last stretch. There's one that's like a um going across something. And I remember it being really difficult when I was younger. I don't know if it's going to be the same. But uh it'll be interesting to see <laughs> what it's like like as a grown adult with a probably fully formed brain. <laughs> anyway, that would be one as well. Thank you. Right, so now we know which colour each one is. We know it's not triangle. We'll stick with red because there's two on the red row. Let's try red star. Yes, red star is good. So now we need to know if this is circle or diamond. In an ideal world, this would just be circle. And I'll immediately have it. Nope. But it's okay, we still got it. We got diamond. Red diamond. Yeah, we're, we're only like halfway through the mud. We're fine. We've got enough mud for this. <laughs> Bringing them all over. So now we know this is blue. So it's going to be blue diamond and yellow diamond. Because this is the blue row. This is the diamond column. Send them up. And then the last one is going to be yellow. Yellow diamond. Oh, there you go. We did it! Whoa! My! You've done exceptionally well! I did! Carry Thank on! You. Carry on! Exceptionally well. See, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for the validation. <laughs> I'm here to be complimented. I'm so proud of myself. I did it. <laughs> Even while I'm still sick. And we made it to the campsite. We've reconvened with the other Zumbinis. And we only lost one to the fleas. <laughs> Amazing indeed! Another relaxing it. campsite ready and waiting for Zumbinis! And they'll need their rest. The darkest, most dangerous part of the journey is yet to come! <laughs> right, because we lost your friend, I'm sorry we'll leave you here. But, uh... Bring out the girlies. Right, let's just move forward with this group because this feels like a, a pretty, pretty well-rounded group. I think we can make this work. Let's move on to the final stretch of our journey, the perilous lands to come. <laughs> I believe. 
Throughout these gloomy mountains, strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. Mysterious. I wonder what they mean. Also, it's so fun. The music is all like the original music from the game, like when it came out in the 90s, and I'm so glad they kept it. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Red, green, blue, pink, yellow. I think I literally just put them on in nose order. So we got the red noses. We got the green noses. And we got the blue noses. We got all the pink noses. Oh, so many of these have pink noses. I did not make this very evenly distributed did i and then we have yellow noses you've done and we can, quite yes. well i have thank you <laughs> now we can continue yeah look at that thank you kitty cat let us through it was so difficult <laughs> Use the crystal it's filters this one. to change the Zumbini's reflection. This one is it the one I always got stuck on when I was younger. Protection. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one that I, I always got stuck on when I was younger. I, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Hold on, was it? Okay, are uh, any do any of these match? Okay, none of the oh this one matches. I can't do both of them at the same time, which is a shame. Yeah, we just have to find the ones that match. There's just a bunch of random ones and you've just got to find the one that matches. Okay, this isn't the one I was thinking of. The one I was thinking of was either like a different path <laughs> or it's going to be the one after this one. This one's just annoying. Anything else? No, that one's. No, I don't have that hair. Don't have that one. Don't have that one. That one. We got you. There we go. Okay. This one's just annoying. This one doesn't feel like you have to actually do any puzzling. You just have to keep looking until you find the matching one. And I'm really bad at observation, so... <laughs> so it's just... It just takes a while. Oh, okay, no, that one didn't take a while. Yeah, look at that! Yeah, this one is pure observation. It's just looking and seeing which one matches. Ba, 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 ba. It is you. At least it gets easier once you start eliminating some of them because there's not as many to choose from. <laughs> All right, next one, the ease. You. Yes. Perfect. Next one is... Is it you? It is you. Send it through. Next 
next one. Yeah, I think this one is probably the weakest from like a puzzle point of view. There's not really much puzzling here. But uh, considering that it is a children's game, <laughs> it is important to remember. I am not the target audience <laughs> for this game. But at least it's it makes it easy. There we go. Yep. Now matches up. Through you go. Next one is what's oh, you? Yes, I'm like double checking before I click because I, I feel like it would be just like me to make a silly mistake and go too quickly. <laughs> Is this? Is it? It's you. And it's you. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Ba 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 ba. It's you. Yes. Next one is you. No, no, not you. You. Yes. Beautiful. Next one. Oh, look at all these shades. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Next one is you. Yeah, it gets much easier when there's only three left. <laughs> Last two. It's you. And now I just gotta look for this one. Right, where is she? There she is. Beautiful. And we got them all through. <laughs> I love the little jingle so much. Search first for traps. This is the one. So easy to miss. To get Zumbinis across Bubble Wonder Abyss. This is the one I always got stuck on when I was a child. <laughs> I remember it vividly because I remember losing Zumbinis here. Basically, there are two paths to get to the other side. Basically, this path is anyone with that hairstyle will go along that path to the exit. And then this one is... Oh, that one changes each turn, I think. So uh, we can start with the one with this hairstyle because... That's like the easiest path just to the end. So doing this, any of the ones with that hairstyle, if we put them on here, they will go that way. If they don't have that hairstyle, they will just get sucked into the void. <laughs> so with that, we got this one across. And we can do the same with all of these with that hairstyle. We can just send all of them on this path. But uh, depending on the nose as well. No, the only way for one of these to survive is if it has a red nose from a different path. So we can't do that. So they all have to go over here. All the ones with this hairstyle are going over this one. All of them. <laughs> They're all getting across the, the easiest way. Because I don't fully remember. Wow, that, that machine is so loud. But I don't like fully remember for sure, but I think this one changes after a Zumbini goes across. Him. I'm not sure. So it'll go up that way, around like that. 
And then if it has a pink nose, it'll go into the void. So we need to send one over that doesn't have a pink nose. So a blue nose. Let's test this. Let's test it out. Sending you here. You're going up. Yeah, it switched it. You'll go that way. You'll go across here. And then because you don't have a pink nose, you will keep going and get to the exit. So we're good. We're safe with that. And I'm just going to finish sending these ones over too, so they're out of the way. But we just have to be very careful with the noses. Because now that it's switched, so we'll put this this way. And like, if it has a red nose, it will go down here and go into the abyss. So the next one we do cannot have a red nose. Oh, and we need to... The, it's got to be one with a pink nose next. It's got to be one with a pink nose next because the when it's the up arrow, it cannot be a pink nose. So now we do one with a pink nose. Yes. Yeah, I think we got this. And then because you don't have a red nose, you'll keep going. And so now it's switched again, so we do one with a red nose. Yeah, we got this, we got this. Now we do one with a red nose, because they can't go that way. We just alternate. Red nose, pink nose. Red nose, pink nose. Blue nose, pink nose. Yeah, we're fine. So there's one with a red nose. Send you along your way. <laughs> going so slowly. I don't want to send another one across at the same time because one of the memories I have from childhood was I got really overzealous on this level and overexcited and I sent loads over quickly and two of them collided and the bubble popped. <laughs> right, you're over. That was red nose, so now we do a pink nose. <laughs> Pink nose. You go that way. And you're just going to make it to the end now. So, so now we go red nose. Now we go red nose. It's something I remember from the frog one too. I'm pretty sure like the frogs going into each other. Or did they? No, did the frogs just wait? The frogs might have, like, queued themselves up. I genuinely don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> but either way, I always worry. I'm like, I, I want to make sure my Zumbinis survive. I gotta look after them. I gotta look out for them. Also, Sanya Mita, thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Thank you. I will have a big stretch. As Red Nose goes across. And I will have a sip of my drink. <laughs> As we send pink nose. And then it's just blue nose, pink nose. Easy peasy. Blue nose. Thank you for throwing something at me. <laughs> what was that? Was that a cube? Also, yeah, it's been two hours. My alarm's going to go off in one minute. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm nearly at the end now. This is like the, the end of the game. So I, I actually kind of timed it perfectly. <laughs> but yes, thank you for, for throwing something at me to remind me. We got it. Easiest game of my life. Actually not. There's, it's actually quite... It, it requires quite a lot of thought. Even though it's like a children's game, it does require some thought to figure out the right order to do things in. 
I'm thinking about the easiest game of my life. That's that's gonna be like House Flipper. Like that that's the easiest game because all you do is you can take your time. You just clean a house. You just paint a wall. <laughs> and then the last one. Over you go. Oh, I don't quite get this puzzle, but the angle does mess with its perception. Oh, it's it's you. It, they just follow the path along until there's an arrow, at which point they will switch and go along the path until there's another arrow. But the ones with a, a thing, like the red nose ones, job. they will only go down there if they have a red nose. So I never send one with a red nose that way, because then they'll go down and, like, into the abyss. <laughs> so it's all about figuring out the right order to send them in, figuring out which path is safe for each one, and also because this one switches... I have to alternate, like, between the pink nose and the the red nose. <laughs> but it's actually, like, it involves a decent amount of thought. It's, it's genuinely a really good game. Anyway, let's continue. Look at that. We made it. We made it. We did it, look. Is this it? Could this be the place they'd been seeking? A place of hope and prosperity? Zumbini! Yes! We made it! <laughs> they made it! Look at this! Population 8, Population 9. We got our first Zumbinis to Zumbiniville! We did it! And we got a little house! Look at that! This schoolhouse salutes the Zumbinis who did not lag in Lion's Lair, solved the secrets of the mirror machine, and flew above Bubble Wonder Abyss when the travelling was not so easy. Yay! We did it! And now, if you look, <laughs> that one Zumbini from before that got caught by the Fleens is back at this campsite. And the other 15 are up here. But we've got our first 16 beanie, Zumbinis to Zumbiniville! And there's only like 300 and... 380 more to go! <laughs> 370... no, 380, yeah. No. No, I can't count. 68, 78... 384! 384 more to go, and then the game is won! <laughs> But yeah, this is a long game. That was one run of it. But the point is like going over constantly, you get one of you get two of like every single type of Zumbini. You get all of the Zumbinis to Zumbini Land. To Zumbiniville. And then like the more you get here, the more places will be built. It's really sweet. It's a really sweet game. <laughs> But uh, I did say I was going to do a short stream today because I, I am still ill and I am feeling quite um, short of breath now as well. <laughs> so I think that's a really nice spot to leave it at. Look, we got fireworks! <laughs> we did it! Zumbini time! It was fun. Anyway, let me... Bloop. Let me head over to here and I will find a raid target. Honestly, I could keep playing that. I could keep playing that for so much longer, but I told myself I would look after myself when I'm still not like fully recovered from being sick. I, I, need, to, I need to be careful. <laughs> but thank you for joining me for my, my self-indulgent uh, check out this game I used to love. Also, hi, I'm so sorry everyone who joined me right as I'm finishing, but hello! I'm glad you were able to to pop in and say hi at least as well. But yes, yeah, time to rest definitely. I I need to I need to be careful and look after myself, because see my main problem is after I've been ill for a while, I'll start to feel better. And in my head I'll be like, oh I'm starting to feel better. I can start doing everything again. And then I go back to doing as much work as I was and surprise shock horror I start falling ill again because I haven't fully recovered <laughs> so I'm not doing that I'm gonna rest I'm gonna look after myself so that will be it from me for now and I will be back again on Friday 
for some more Divinity with Xander, which uh, will be a shorter stream. And not just because I'm ill, but um, because me and Xander are actually going to be going out in the evening. So we need time to get ready for that. So that'll probably be a, a three hour stream instead of a four hour one. But there will still be the, the Divinity shenanigans, <laughs> which I'm looking forward to. But yeah, thank you so much for everyone joining me today. That was that was fun. I want to play more Zumbinis. <laughs> I'll have to play some more sometime. Just have like an educational game stream. Just load up the Freddy Fish again. That would be so fun. That would be so good. <laughs> Maybe I could even play some of the games I never played when I was younger too. Like I'll, I'll play the Pajama Sam games because I never played those when I was a child. I, I knew of them, but I I was always I was always a Freddy Fish girl. I love Freddy Fish. <laughs> But yes, uh, I will leave it at that for now. I'll go get some rest and food and drink. And I will find a target to send a raid on to. Let's see, who should I raid? Oh, Momo's online. I did just raid her the other day. Do kind of just want to raid her again, to be honest. <laughs> Oregon Trail next. Oh, I'm so bad at that game. I I can't survive that. <laughs> just just perishing of dysentery every time. I'm I'm really bad at Oregon Trail. Although I I do remember having a lot of fun with Oregon Trail, which is like the same thing but zombies. <laughs> oh, and JN102, thank you for the follow too. I hope you've enjoyed your time here. Thank you for deciding to stick around. Oh, actually, I could raid Max. I could raid Max. I don't usually get the chance to raid Max because of when he streams, but uh, he's playing some Borderlands 3 at the moment with Ayakawa Hikari. And I love Borderlands. I'm a, I'm a big Borderlands fan. I'm excited for when Borderlands 4 comes out because me and Xander are definitely going to play that together. <laughs> So I'll, I think I'll send you Max's way. Maximilian... Maximilian... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his surname properly still. Uh, Archambault? Archambault? I'm not sure if it's a silent H or not. I think it's Archambault. I'm not sure. Either way, he's a butler VTuber who's also a good friend of mine. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I get the chance to raid him because I never do. But yes, I will send you over his way. Did I watch the movie? I did not. And I also have absolutely no desire to. I have not heard a single good thing about the Borderlands movie. Actually, no. The the one thing I've heard about the Borderlands movie is that um, Jack Black as Claptrap is quite funny. And I feel like anyone who knows Borderlands, like if Claptrap is the best part, it's not a good sign. <laughs> not the best side <laughs> but no I haven't heard great things about it but I like I don't think I'd want to watch like a, a PG rated Borderlands like it I don't feel like it would work as like a PG rated thing it needs to be like mature mature audiences mature content in my humble onion but yeah I'm not, I'm not really interested in watching it I'm I've, I've not heard like the greatest reviews and I, I don't think it's something I'd enjoy but uh, if anyone does enjoy it, that's great. But uh, yeah, not for me. Not for me. Oh yeah, and then Jack Black's gonna be Minecraft Steve as well. I saw that. <laughs> I have no idea what that's gonna be like. I, I saw the Minecraft trailer for the movie and I'm like, I don't think I'm the target audience for this movie. <laughs> also, oh goodness, I need to find, uh, Xander sent me a message the other day where he was talking to his friends and he was like, um, you just know at one point there's going to be a line where someone's like, there's a creeper behind me, right? Oh, man. <laughs> as soon as he said that, I was like, how dare you? There probably is. There probably is going to be. Anyway, uh, I have to go rest. I need to stop. I need to stop yapping. I just, I just want to keep going. I want to keep streaming, but I know I need to rest and look after myself. <laughs> So I'm going to get the raid set up. 
Let's send the raid over to Max. Uh, if you're sub, we will use the comfy emote. If not, we will use hearts. And thank you. I will try my best to get some rest. I, I plan on lying down and looking after myself. But uh, thank you. It's been it's been a lovely stream, though. I I want to play more Zumbinis now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have that much fun with it. <laughs> I want to fill Zumbiniville now. I feel like it could be so fun to just make sure I get all of the Zumbinis over. <laughs> but yes, it is time for me to get EPs. I'm ready to look after myself and rest and relax. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. Oh, and thank you for the, the get well wishes too. I'm already feeling so much better. I think I'm going to be fine. I just need to make sure I don't push myself too hard too soon. But yeah, it's been lovely. I'm going to go rest now. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.